So uh, I'm going to have to have you quiet down because it turns out I actually uh, was able to uh, get in touch with Mr. Statham. Ooh, you didn't tell him that I did no. it. No. Okay, good. No. Good, good. Thank you. Uh, but he's a fan of the podcast. Oh, awesome. So he will obviously know about that. Okay. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, well, anyway, let's, uh, let's see if we got him on the line. Uh, Mr. Statham, can you hear me? Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's the problem? Uh, I'm so glad you could join us by phone today. Oh, oh, Brian, it's great to hear from you. Yeah, yeah. It's, is it all right that I uh, record you for the podcast? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. That's fantastic. Yeah, so I was uh, watching some of your great videos earlier today. Are you going to be a smart ass about that? Don't bring up that damn video again. That music video sucked. Well, it did, but uh, I, I, you know, I enjoyed it. I thought it was, I thought it was very, very sensual and that you were... Uh, really alpha male in it and anyway if you don't want to talk about it that's fine that's fine the, the thing i remember best about that was getting greased up by very two attractive women so how should i so how should i address you uh jason or mr statham or... well go with jason that's fine i've, I've known you for a little while Brian, yeah that's, great. that's, that's great. obviously true and in no way fake i no, it's not great. At all. Yeah. so the uk voted to leave the eu yeah uh how do you feel about that how'd you vote you know, I voted for it. I, I just got really tired of a lot of those damn Europeans. A lot Ooh. of those guys, they just want to kick their ass anyway. But, you know, I think it was a it was a wise move. A wise, wise move got us out of there. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're doing good things now. It's going to be fantastic. All right. Well, if, if you were to Brexit, who would be your co-star? You know, I really like, I, I really like Will Ferrell. I think he could do some good things. That's true. You've done some comedy work. That's I forgot about that. Yeah, we got to give that a try once in a while. Everybody, you know, takes me so seriously. It's just this ass kicking, hot ass guy with the, with kind of bad hair. But you know, I don't care what anybody thinks about my hair. I'm still mm -hmm. a badass, right? Good looking mm -hmm. too. Mm, yes, very, very good looking. Your publicist uh, makes a very strong point of that. Yeah, he does. If he didn't, I'd kick his ass too, right? Fire him probably also. So if Brexit was a movie, I guess the, the obvious question is, what would you drive? Oh, you know what I'd drive. Probably drive that new Jaguar, you know? Not the, not the four-door, but the uh, the coupe would be fantastic. I'd like to rip that thing around. If not that, probably uh, probably one of the new uh, Audis is, is nice too. Definitely one of those, yeah. Sure, yeah. sure. So the UK has 24 months uh, to leave the EU. If you were driving, how long would it take you to Brexit? About three minutes. Three minutes? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Ambitious, but not impossible. No, no, not impossible at all. You know, I could do that. I'd just be kicking ass right down the line with that one, right? Yeah. Make myself to the pub, find a few guys over. That'd be fun. I'd, I'd like that. Three minutes is good. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you have any thoughts on Scottish independence? There's talk of that coming up again. No, I'm all for that, you know. I love the Scottish men. Those guys are great, you know. They kick ass. A lot of those guys kick some serious ass. And uh, mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've been in a few movies with those guys. Did some filming in Scotland one time. Got really drunk at this bar one time and uh, kicked ass, yeah. I'm starting to wonder, do you know what Brexit means? No, no, I don't. I'm sorry, I just was kind of pulling that one out of the head of my ass, just, you know. You did a fine job. It actually, it, it, it seemed very human for most of it. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, tr I try to be human. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not a robot or anything. I'm, you know, I'm not like Jean-Claude Van Damme. Mm. I swear to God, that guy's a fucking robot, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but he can still kick ass. He's, mm. he's good at that. So, you know, we're about to celebrate uh, our independence. This podcast actually comes out on the 4th of July, American Independence Day. Fantastic. You know, I like fireworks, man. Those are great. I, you know, I love fireworks. They, they kick ass, right? Good. So you uh, want to give any special message to the Americans on this day of severance from your once great empire? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, America. I'll tell you right now. I love coming to you and, and hanging out and, and, you know, 4th of July and all that. And your Independence Day, guess what, you guys? You guys kick ass. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so I understand that uh, you're calling me from a regular phone and that long distance charges are really racking up. So I, I don't want to take too much of your time. That's fine. No problem at all. You know, I, I, I got a little bit of money. I could pay for that. All right. Quid. Well, a, a question that, that's been on everyone's mind yeah. really is so you you worked with Melissa McCarthy. Oh, yeah, Melissa. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah, great. In that, that, was in that movie Spy. Yeah. yeah, she yeah. did kick ass. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've worked with her. What'd she smell like? Now, let me think back. You know, she had a couple of things going on certain days, you know. You know, uh, one day, uh, she kind of smelled like mint raspberry and warm feet. And, uh, and then I think, I think it was a couple of days later, she definitely smelled like a bucket of fried chicken topped with the saffron gravy. But my favorite was the Friday she came in. Smelled it, smelled like haggis. But in a good way. You know, it was nice. And, uh, like good I said haggis. Before, yeah, yeah, good mm. haggis. Yeah, she kicked ass. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's... Uh, that's tasty, isn't it? It. I will. I will take your word for it. Yeah, I. That's a good thing. I have heard many things about haggis, but I'm not sure the word "good" has ever come up. You know, there is. You know, you got to give it a try, man. You got to find the right place. At, you know, good haggis. There's uh, several places that serve that up, and yeah, some of those really kick ass. Yeah. Well, Mr. Satham, I, I really want to thank you for coming on the podcast. This oh, is Brian, been... no, no, thank you for uh, for having me, and I always appreciate talking with you, and I miss you a lot, man. Uh, we'll have to go to the next time in town, uh, you know, maybe we'll go down to the pub, the ball there, and uh, have some drinks and kick ass. I, I would very much enjoy that. Thank you, you so bet. much. All right, well, take care. All right, yeah, you too.